Yo, what is up my Rebels? Today we're going to be talking about the 5 best Penn State NCAA wrestlers of all time. Let's go right into the video. So to start it off, at number 5, we got Ed Ruth, a guy who played a huge role in reviving the Penn State program. Uh, this was during their first wave and really helped establish the dynasty that Penn State is now. But this was just shortly after Kale Sanderson took the reins. Uh, Ed Ruth he competed at 174 and 184, was a three-time NCAA champion and as a freshman took third, but also during his career at Penn State helped them lead to four national titles and then also was a U.S. world team member, but is often overlooked uh, even though he always got bonus points, was a beast at getting cradles, but he was just overlooked because David Taylor was on the lineup during his time. So definitely one of the more underrated wrestlers, but at number five, Penn State's Ed Ruth. Now at number four and number three, I'm going to call this a tie between these two guys since they are very similar. They wrestled during the same time, uh, they wrestled and they had the same accomplishments and even now they're both going to probably go into MMA or something with Jiu Jitsu involved with it. But we're talking about Bo Nickel and Jason Off. Both of these guys competed together and are well known as some of the wrestlers behind that second wave of Penn State's dynasty. Uh, which started about a few years ago maybe five or six but bo nickel and jason off both guys were runner-ups their freshman year uh nickel he got upset by miles martin and off lost the defending champion uh, isaiah martinez but then their sophomore junior and senior seasons these guys both went on to become national champions for penn state so three timers as well as runner-ups and then after that they haven't had the most freestyle success but bo nickel was a u23 champion uh, but both these guys really helped Penn State get back to the dynasty that they were after the first wave of Penn State wrestlers were gone. And both also just had crazy fun styles to watch. Knopf just constant, constant pressure. And Bo Nickel, a little bit of funk mixed in, was one of the most entertaining wrestlers to watch in recent years. Now at number two, we got one of the most efficient wrestlers that we have seen uh, ever. And one of the greatest wrestlers for Penn State, Zane Rutherford. A guy who won, I think, two Hodge trophies and was a three-time NCAA champion. He got a lot of upsets during his career where he competed at, I believe, 149 pounds for Kale Sanderson. Uh, in freestyle, uh, he was a cadet world team. I think he was a team winner uh, and was also on the team and then made the senior world team in 2017. Now, just missed out on the Olympics this year, which is why we have him here at number two. But one of the most efficient and calculated wrestlers uh, always good at making adjustments in these best of three series that we see at the freestyle level, especially against guys like Yanni Jack Mahal. So Zane Rutherford, number two best wrestler to come out of Penn State. And at number one, we got David Taylor, a guy who was only a two-time NCAA champion, but I would say he is number one on this list as in his freshman season, he finished as a runner-up after he got upset by Bubba Jenkins, who, funny enough, transferred out of Penn State because David Taylor took his spot and then proceeded to beat him in the finals, which is a crazy story. But then in 2012, Taylor bounced back, got an NCAA championship, and then in 2013, lost a close match to Kyle Dake. Uh, it was a 5-4 to four match, and he lost to him as Kyle Dake got his fourth uh, NCAA title. And then in 2014, uh, which was his last year as a senior, he was an NCAA champion once once again so finish off is a two-time NCAA champion and a two-time Hodge winner uh, also helped Penn State get four team titles during that time and Russell's a very fun style to watch very aggressive very dynamic with his good moves like the ankle pick which he's great on his feet with but then in freestyle he's probably the most accomplished Penn State wrestler to this day as he was a world title winner for the United States in 2018 and that recently just made the Olympic team so should be fun to watch coming in August yeah it's wrap of our video talking about the five best college wrestlers for Penn State and their accomplishments uh, if you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like comment down below and sub for more wrestling content like this only a small percentage of you guys are subscribed so please subscribe for more wrestling related stories and news like this peace